Okay, in this video, I'll be showing you how to swap out the incandescent bulbs in your dash. This happens to be on a Ford Expedition, a 1998 model, and this would affect 97 through 2002 F-150s, Expeditions, and Navigators. So what we're going to do is go from this to this. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and tilt the steering wheel down, help us get uh, better access to this panel right here, which needs to come off. So let's take a look here, and boom. And you might have noticed this little guy right here uh, installed a new stereo recently. Boom, right here. And there is a video, of course, on how to install that stereo as well. All right, so next we need to remove this panel right here, gonna be a couple of screws right up in this here, right up here. And then ultimately this will come out. We'll pull that out and hopefully get to the back of it. Then we can swap the incandescent lamps for LEDs. All right, so take these screws out. In this case, these are seven millimeters. Put it in the cup so I don't lose it. Go over here, pop this guy out. And I need to pop this guy off. Get it. Alright, and now we have those screws off. Okay, now there's a hidden screw behind this light switch. So you got to pop that little guy off. Uh, works better if you have a trim tool, but I do not have that. I'll have a screwdriver, so I'll pop this little guy out and unplug the switch. Alright, so here's the switch assembly coming out. And there's the screw that we're trying to get a hold of. So now we'll take that screw out, another seven millimeter, and then this piece right here should come out. All right, got those off. This is easy to move out of here. Get this out of the way. Nope, I'll leave it there. Okay, to get the gear selector piece out, just gonna simply push down these little black tabs right here and right here, and it should pop right out. And there it is out. Down here, out of the way. About that. Anyway, to get it out, just got to remove these plugs back here. Usually, have a little guy that pushes in, then we can pop it out. And then these guys right here, what we're gonna replace. Okay. Okay, got them all unplugged. I think I can roll it out. And here's all the different little sockets I'll go through and replace them. These right here will be replaced, in my case, with blue LEDs. Uh, one other note, um, the suspension has been changed on this truck from air suspension to regular spring. So I'm going to remove this little guy right here and not replace it because the check suspension lights is coming on occasionally. 
uh, due to the fact that there's no airbags in there. So I'll go through and pop all those in there, uh, making sure to put the uh, positive lead on the correct side on that new LEDs and then negative. So remember these little guys? Go like that, boom, take it out. Again, this one's just gonna be pulled out and nothing put back in place because it's check suspension. Okay, so I've already able to pull this little guy out. Just pulled out of the socket right here. And we'll be replacing each one of these with the LEDs. All right, so about the only difference I could see in these is there's a little white dot inside of there. So I set mine up. So the little white dot would be on top. This is top. <clears throat> like so. And we'll plug it all in, test it out. So about the only difference I can see is there's a little white dot inside of here. And I'll put the light dot on the bottom. And also we'll replace these two right here. And it does appear that the positive is on the top, the ground is on the bottom, that it flows from top to bottom. So I've replaced all the ones that say illumination. And then these others you can change with different colors depending on what you like. Uh, probably, you know, the uh, warning lights you probably want to do with like red LEDs. Uh, and then low wash, something like that. Uh, maybe do that with an amber. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and replace these three right here as well, using the same procedure I used here. And I'm going to put the uh, positive on top, or the little bumpy. Okay, I was able to get everything plugged in uh, without having to push the whole assembly in yet. And then go over here and turn on the lights. And... I think we've got illumination on all of them. Let's put it all back together and see what happens. So now we've gone from this to this. <laughs>